Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how you can make your own tablet that runs Windows 10. This tablet has a 7 inch screen with a resolution of 1024 times 600 and a latte as the computer module, two USB ports, volume knob and a power switch. Let's get started. I'm going to divide the tablet in sections. First, let's build the battery. We need to make sure that all of our falsers are at the same voltage before hooking them up in parallel. Here's how it should look like when hooked up to the battery charger. We can check the battery, now let's move on to the speakers. A headphone jack has three contacts left, right and ground. I soldered wires to the audio jack in the following order. White is the left channel, green is the right channel and blue is ground. You don't need both channels since the tablet will only use one channel. I wanted to have two speakers but there was no room left for both speakers so I only used one. You'll need to hook up the audio jack to the amplifier and solder power wires to, the, to it. Now I'm going to solder speakers to the amplifier. Here's how everything should look like. We can check the speakers and move on to the letter panda and the screen. I'm going to hook up the screen to the letter panda and test everything out. I ended up cu cutting the wire from the micro USB cable and soldering wires to it so it takes less space. We can check the letter panda and move on to the USB hub. I desoldered all of the USB ports from the hub and removed it from the case. I'm going to solder two USB ports with wires so they can reach the hole in the case. You can check where the ground wire is by putting your multimeter in continuity mode and testing with the shielding of the USB port. The ground is connected to the shield of the USB port. We can check the USB hub and move on to fitting everything inside. I'm not going to bore you with this since the footage is long and boring, but if you want to see it, you can head out to the Instructables link down in the description for a written guide and pictures. And you are done! If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and visit my YouTube channel for more projects. If I were to build a tablet again, I would not use this screen, instead I would buy the screen for the letter panda since it doesn't have a HDMI connector that added to the thickness of the tablet. Double-sided tape, a battery, a speaker, and the micro SD card for the storage. Before starting building the phone, plug it down channels 
plug in the screen and connect the port to a 5 volt charger if your charger has I would also not use 18650 cells since they are pretty heavy. For a written guide with pictures and schematics can be found down in the video description down below.